What's up guys, today we're gonna to be talking about what speed cube lube you should buy because this question, if you're someone who's new, can be kind of hard to answer because there's a lot of different types of lubes. You have cubicle weight one through five, cubicle gummy, speedy, regular, DNM, silk, angstrom lubes, you've got lubes from Maru, you've got, there's just, so many different types of lubes. So I'm gonna help you guys break that down today. So one thing I wanna get out of the way is that lots of people have different preferences for how they want their cube to feel. So the lube list that I'm gonna give is not a definitive list. Uh, some people prefer a lot of different lubes that I'm probably gonna suggest, but I do think that this list of lubes is a very good list to start with. Next, I just wanna mention that I know the prices of lubes may look a little expensive because the bottles are not that big, but these lubes last a very long time. Uh, I've had a bottle of Speedy for probably three years now, and it's coming to the very end of what's left, but three years for $10 is not that bad. $10 and a little less is probably what you're gonna find the average for most cube lube is. But if $10 will last you a year or more, I think that's a really good investment. I've had a bottle of Silk since that came out and it's still going. Uh, I've had a bottle of DNM for well over a year and that is still going. You don't have to use a lot of the lube inside of your cube to make it good. So just keep that in mind. While the prices do seem a little high, the lube will last you quite a while. All right, so the first lube we're gonna talk about is Weight 5, and this is my absolute favorite lube by a mile. Uh, I have been using Weight 5 slash Traxxas 50K since like 2012, and I absolutely love it. One of the big things that you use uh, Weight 5 or Traxxas 50K for is normally lubing the springs or the core of a cube. And this is because since it's a thick lube, it lasts the longest in comparison to all the other lubes. So it's good to put in there versus a thin lube because it's not something you wanna lube a lot. You just kinda wanna lube it once and just forget about it. So Weight 5 is typically what people will use on the core because it's a thick lube. So that's really good. Weight 5 is also very multi-purpose. It can be used on the core, it can be used on the pieces, it can be used from small cubes to big cubes. It has a very wide variety of things it can be used for. It can make a cube slower, it can make a cube faster, uh, you can make it feel more gummy. Like it can really be used for almost anything. It can't be used for quite all the cubes out there, but if I was gonna pick only one lube, it would be weight five because it can just be used for so much. Another really big reason I like it is it gives the cube some substance to it. When you're turning it, you can kind of feel the silicone in between each turn and that's something I really like feeling. Uh, it just kind of makes the cube feel like it isn't just this plastic scratching. It just feels like there's a layer between it that just feels really pleasant when you turn it. Next up, we're gonna talk about Traxxas 50K and pretty much everything I just said about weight five applies to Traxxas 50K, but the thing with 50K is that you can get a huge bottle that will honestly last you forever. I would be so surprised if someone actually went through a bottle of Traxxas 50K in like five years. It will last you so long and it's cheap. The only reason I've ever had to replace a bottle of Traxxas 50K is because I didn't put the lid on and I've spilled lube out of it. That's normally how I've lost most of my Traxxas 50K, not because I've actually used all of it, it's just because it's spilled. So if you get one of these bottles, it's gonna last you a really, really, really long time. And there are differences between Weight 5 and Traxxas. I couldn't tell you exactly what they are, but when I use them, I do feel like they act a little bit differently and I personally prefer Weight 5. But if you can only afford Traxxas 50K, there's nothing wrong with that. I used Traxxas 50K from like 2012 all the way up to 2017. So it's still a very good lube, I just now prefer weight five. Next up, we're gonna talk about weight three. As the numbers go down, so weight five, four, and three, the lubes get runnier, so weight five is the thickest, weight three is going to be a little bit runnier. So weight three is really nice for still kind of adding that substance uh, silicone feel to the cube, but also making it faster than weight five would. So it's really good for those cubes that maybe don't respond as nicely to a thicker lube, or maybe you just want your cube to be a little bit faster. Weight three is really good for that. It's nice to have it for wanting to make your cube a little bit faster, but it's not as watery as some of those other lubes, so it'll last a little bit longer than some of the other ones on the list. Next up, we're gonna be talking about Lubical Speedy, and if you look at the premium cubes on the cubicle.us website, almost all the cubes have Speedy in them. So this is definitely a lube that a lot of people really like. It is a very runny lube, as the name suggests. Uh, and like I mentioned earlier, I've had a bottle of Speedy for about three years now and it's still going. Uh, when I got it, they were using syringes, now they're using bottles, which is a much better application process than a syringe. Pretty much every time with the syringe, I would end up using too much lube inside the cube. So having the bottle, definitely nicer. 
but Speedy is really good at making the cube faster, and if you use just a little bit more of it, it also adds this kind of unique soft feeling, um, which is kind of nice. It will make your cube a little bit slower if you're using that much of it in there, but that can be kind of nice. Speedy is also really good because it works in smaller cubes all the way up to big cubes. The problem with things like weight five and weight three is they're a little bit harder to use in bigger cubes. I think weight five works really well all the way up until about five by five. Once you get to six by six and seven by seven, I'm not as sure. I think it's typically better to use a runnier lube inside of those. So Speedy works really well for that. And one thing I wanna mention here is typically with lubes like Traxxas or Weight 3, you're gonna put that on the tracks of the pieces and not as much on the outer layers of the cube. But with something like Speedy, you would put that on the outer pieces because it's a quicker lube. Typically you wanna use a thicker lube on the tracks. So now we're done with the silicone lubes and we're gonna talk about DNM. DNM is a water-based lube and this will make your cube very fast instantly. Literally the second you put a drop in there, your cube is gonna be fast. So what's really nice about this is obviously it makes your cube faster and it it's not gonna last as long as silicone lubes, but it gives you an instant gratification. There's not really a whole lot of break-in process. It's just fast right away. Just do like two solves and it'll probably be spread through the entire cube. So that's really nice. I think DNM is really good in bigger cubes like six by six, seven by seven. It obviously works amazing in smaller cubes, but I find that I use it most in larger cubes. Now, one thing to note with a water-based lube like DNM is it will not change the feel of the cube as much as the silicones will. So you're gonna put something like DNM in it and the cube for the most part is gonna feel the same. It will change a little bit, but it's basically gonna be whatever that cube feels like and now faster. DNM is also really easy to use. You normally just use one or two drops in your cube and that's it. So application is really easy, very straightforward to set up a cube with DNM. So I think DNM is a really good lube to have in your collection just as something that makes your cube fast really quick or maybe you want a little bit of a speed boost. DNM is my go-to for that. So now we're gonna talk about silk. So silk is kind of an interesting lube. So when you put it in, it will kind of dampen how the cube feels, make it a little softer. It won't kind of I guess be as clacky, and it also makes the cube a little bit faster. So silk is really good in that regard. As I'm describing it, it does sound really similar to kind of the other lubes, but it does have its own very unique feel. And it's nice and like DNM in the sense that application is very easy. You just put a couple drops in your cube, break it in, and you're good to go. So you kind of get some instant satisfaction Satisfaction? Gratification. So you kind of get some instant gratification from the lube, which is really nice. I've used silk a lot in my dye on two by twos and I think it works really, really well in that. I think it works well in three by threes and I've used it in four by fours. So with those lubes, I think you can cover just about any cube that you wanna set up. Uh, it gives you a very wide variety of different feels that you could give the cube from thicker lubes to faster lubes and I realize that's a lot of lube to be buying, and I don't think everyone's gonna go ahead and buy it, but if you already have some of those, then you could add the other ones to your collection. But if you're just starting out, I would definitely say Weight 5 as a starter lube. I think it's a very, very good starter lube. Um, then from there, I would probably say DNM, Speedy, Weight 3, and then Silk is probably the order I would go in. Like I said, people are probably gonna have different opinions on that, on which ones they would get in which order. But weight five, definitely first, because I think it's the most versatile, then DNM is good because it can instantly speed your cubes up. So yeah, that's kind of my recommendation for cube lubes and how they work. Let me know down below what you guys use. I'm sure lots of you use lots of different lubes and I would love to hear kind of the combinations that you use them in, what part of the cube you put it in, and kind of the outcome of that lube in your cube. And I'm sure a lot of the newer people in the comments will be able to learn from that. So thanks for watching guys, and I will see you later.